a minibus in motion setting the Hong Kong stage. Hong Kong, crowded, fast-paced. The city is a living, breathing entity, pulsating with life at every corner. The streets are a symphony of sounds, from the honking of horns to the chatter of pedestrians, creating a unique urban melody. A city that never sleeps. As the sun sets, the cityscape transforms into a dazzling display of lights, illuminating the night sky. Neon signs flicker, and the streets remain as busy as ever, with people going about their lives, seemingly unaffected by the passage of time. And nowhere is this more evident than on its iconic minibuses. These vehicles are more than just a mode of transportation. They are a lifeline for many residents, connecting them to different parts of the city with efficiency and speed. These red and green behemoths weave through traffic, packed with people and buzzing with a unique energy. Each minibus is a microcosm of the city itself, filled with a diverse mix of passengers, each with their own story to tell. It's a microcosm of Hong Kong life, a place where the city's soul unfolds one stop at a time. From the elderly woman heading to the market to the young professional rushing to work, the minibus is a shared space where lives intersect and stories unfold. But on this particular day, the usual hum of Cantonese and the rumble of the engine were punctuated by a different kind of drama. The atmosphere was charged with tension as an unexpected event began to unfold. It was the kind that starts with a simple snack and escalates into a battle of wills. A seemingly innocuous act of eating popcorn on the bus sparked a confrontation that quickly grew out of proportion. It was, dear friends, the popcorn incident. What began as a minor annoyance soon became a full-blown argument, with passengers taking sides and voices rising. The minibus, usually a place of quiet coexistence, was now a battleground of opinions and tempers. The popcorn scattered across the floor became a symbol of the underlying tensions that can surface in the most unexpected places. It was a reminder that even in a city as bustling and vibrant as Hong Kong, moments of conflict and discord are never far away. The driver, glancing in the rearview mirror, tried to maintain order, but the situation had already spiraled out of control. The minibus, a vessel of daily life, had become a stage for a very human drama. As the minibus continued its journey through the city, the argument eventually subsided, leaving behind a sense of unease. The passengers, now quiet, reflected on the incident, each lost in their own thoughts. And so the minibus carried on, a small but significant part of the ever-moving tapestry that is Hong Kong. The popcorn incident, though seemingly trivial, was a moment that captured the essence of life in this dynamic city, unpredictable, intense, and always in motion. Enter our protagonist or perhaps antagonist depending on your stance on public snacking. Let's call him Mr. Chow. Mr. Chow, a man seemingly in his late 50s with a twinkle in his eye and a mischievous grin, boarded the minibus at Causeway Bay. He settled into his seat, pulled out a big bag of popcorn from his bag and began munching with gusto. Now those familiar with Hong Kong's public transport know that eating and drinking are strictly prohibited. It's a rule as ingrained in the city's DNA as Dim Sum and Bruce Lee. So naturally, Mr. Chow's actions didn't go unnoticed. No eating on the minibus, sir. The driver, a man hardened by years of navigating Hong Kong's chaotic roads and even more chaotic passengers, cleared his throat loudly. His eyes scanned the rearview mirror, catching sight of Mr. Chow, a regular passenger known for his defiant attitude. The driver had seen it all, rude passengers, traffic jams, and the occasional street protest, but nothing irked him more than someone blatantly ignoring the rules. No eating on the minibus, sir. He announced, his Cantonese inflected with a warning. The tone was unmistakable. It was the voice of someone who had long since lost patience, but was still trying to maintain a semblance of order. The minibus was his domain, and he ruled it with an iron fist, or at least he tried to. Mr. Chow, however, seemed unfazed. He was a man of habit, and his habit was to challenge authority at every turn. The popcorn was his weapon of choice today, and he wielded it with a casual defiance that bordered on arrogance. He paused his popcorn consumption for a moment, looked at the driver, smiled, and then continued eating. The audacity. It was as if he was daring the driver to do something about it. The other passengers watched in a mix of amusement and anxiety, knowing that this small act of rebellion could escalate quickly. No eating on the minibus, sir. The driver, his patience wearing thin, felt the familiar surge of frustration. He had dealt with unruly passengers before, but Mr. Chow was in a league of his own. 
the driver knew that if he didn't assert his authority now, he would lose control of the entire bus. He repeated the rule, this time with a touch more force. His voice was louder, more commanding, leaving no room for misunderstanding. The other passengers held their breath, waiting to see what would happen next. Mr. Chow, with the air of a man who answers to no one, simply shrugged and continued his popcorn feast. His nonchalance was infuriating, a blatant challenge to the driver's authority. The tension in the minibus was palpable, each crunch of popcorn echoing like a taunt. The tension on the minibus was thicker than a bowl of congee. Every passenger could feel it, a collective unease that made the small space feel even more cramped. The driver knew he had to act, but how? The rules were clear, but enforcing them was another matter entirely. The city outside buzzed with its usual chaos, but inside the minibus, a different kind of battle was unfolding. The other passengers caught in this impromptu drama reacted in a symphony of passive aggression. Audible sighs filled the air, eyes rolled like dice in a mahjong game, whispers of, so rude, and doesn't he know the rules, rippled through the bus. So rude. Doesn't he know the rules? A young woman in a business suit glared at Mr. Chow, her carefully crafted composure cracking under the pressure of popcorn-induced injustice. An elderly man shook his head, muttering something about kids these days. The minibus, usually a space of anonymous coexistence, had transformed into a crucible of social judgment. Kids these days. Just when the situation seemed destined for an explosive confrontation, something unexpected happened. Mr. Chow finished his popcorn. He then proceeded to meticulously gather every stray kernel from his lap and the floor, meticulously wiping away any trace of his transgression. He then turned to the driver, a sheepish grin spreading across his face. Sorry, sorry, he said in Cantonese, his voice laced with genuine remorse. I was hungry and I forgot. The driver, disarmed by this unexpected apology, could only nod in acceptance. Section 6. Rules of the Road, Etiquette on Wheels the incident, as quickly as it began, was over. The tension dissipated, replaced by a collective sigh of relief. The minibus continued its journey, the rhythm of the city restored. But the popcorn incident, brief as it was, served as a potent reminder of the unwritten rules that govern life in a city like Hong Kong. It highlighted the delicate dance between individual freedom and collective responsibility, the importance of respecting shared spaces, and the power of a sincere apology. Section 7. A City in Transit. Reflections on a Minibus Ride. As I disembarked from the minibus that day, I couldn't help but ponder the events that had just transpired. Mr. Chow, initially painted as the villain of our story, had redeemed himself with a simple apology. His actions, though initially frustrating, served as a reminder that we're all human, prone to lapses in judgment and moments of forgetfulness. The incident also highlighted the unique dynamics of public transport a space where strangers are thrown together in a temporary bubble of shared experience. Section 8. Join the conversation, your public transport tales. Now it's your turn, dear readers. Have you ever witnessed or been part of a public transport drama? What are your thoughts on the rules of etiquette in shared spaces? Share your stories and opinions in the comments below. Section 9. Conclusion, Popcorn, People, and Public Transport In the grand tapestry of Hong Kong life, the popcorn incident may seem like a trivial thread, but it's these seemingly insignificant moments that weave together to form the rich, vibrant fabric of the city. Every day, millions of people navigate the bustling streets, the crowded markets, and the ever-busy public transport system, each contributing their own unique stories to the collective narrative. On public transport, where strangers become temporary companions, the smallest interactions can leave lasting impressions. A shared smile, a brief conversation, or even a disagreement over something as simple as a bag of popcorn can reveal the underlying currents of human connection and societal norms. It's in these small, everyday moments that the city's true character shines through, reflecting the resilience, diversity, and spirit of its people. Hong Kong is a place where chaos and order coexist, where tradition meets modernity, and where the old and the new blend seamlessly. The city's skyline, a mix of towering skyscrapers and historic buildings, is a testament to this unique blend. And within this dynamic environment, a simple bag of popcorn can spark a debate about the very fabric of society, 
highlighting the delicate balance between individual freedom and communal harmony. So the next time you find yourself on a Hong Kong minibus, remember Mr. Chow and his popcorn. Think about the countless stories unfolding around you, the myriad lives intersecting for a brief moment in time. Each passenger has their own journey, their own experiences, and their own perspectives, all contributing to the rich tapestry of Hong Kong life. You never know what kind of drama might unfold on the city's most entertaining mode of transport. Whether it's a heated debate, a heartwarming act of kindness, or a simple moment of shared humanity, the minibus is a microcosm of Hong Kong itself, vibrant, unpredictable, and full of life. So sit back, enjoy the ride, and embrace the unexpected moments that make this city so